Namaste my friends <clears throat> Paul Kelligan with you today again uh, <clears throat> I'm a yoga teacher uh, in the tradition of the Swami Shivananda the system of the Swami Shivananda I'm initiated in tradition so I live in ashrams I have uh, I'm initiated guru so I'm uh, <clears throat> I teach about 30 years about 38 years I study yoga Right now I'm in my little ashram in Brooklyn, 2021. It's pretty hot, that's why I'm that close, I'm sorry. <coughs> yeah, up here, of course. Yeah, and uh, I have a few cats there, you, you may hear some sounds. Yeah, um, my spiritual name is Shankara, but I'm, I'm not fanatical, I'm not trying to bring you in the tradition or to brainwash you to force you to <clears throat> criticize, I don't like to argue, I don't like to force you to something like that, yeah it just, I'm just trying to bring us in the present moment to speak about really important things like uh, uh, God, meditation about why we're here, who we are about reincarnation, about uh, satana and many other important things this channel it's pretty much my videos uh, some of them with other gurus uh, pretty good gurus yeah <clears throat> I appreciate the uh, doing video with, with me so uh, uh, the videos not connected to each other so mostly it's a spiritual videos but many topics meditation pranayama, asana, philosophic videos, spiritual videos, many others. So, uh, um, <clears throat> also, uh, all information will be below the video, below the video, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to bring you here from, just to memorize, like, just uh, to speak, about to, about these things to bring you from regular routine when we're working when we running around we don't think about that much sometimes but I think we should yeah <clears throat> so uh, it's pretty much for everybody but uh, for most people, the people who study yoga or any culture, but not necessary. Uh, yoga is pretty flexible thing. You can combine it with your religion or your tradition easily. So, um, also I'm publishing the books, uh, my own books. Uh, the one I have, it's, it calls The Essence and the Altar of Love. Yeah, this book is uh, <clears throat> it's about 7,000 sutras, like shlokas, phrases, I would say, spiritual phrases. Uh, yeah, I can send it to you. You can email me the address or you can... Uh, I'm on many platforms. And in Instagram and Facebook, you can find me. You can give me the address in the messengers. You can leave me address in the messenger second and I'm gonna send you like it's a paper book this the big book yeah it's absolutely free the all my platforms is free only here people comes to pay like sometimes uh, I'm doing video by uh, I mean the lessons by Skype or <clears throat> you can call me it's free uh, I'm answering any questions uh, uh, in messengers mostly in facebook mostly yeah just uh, ask me any below the video do comments i put every day in facebook and instagram i put my phrases every pretty much every day these days at least yeah do comments do comments after video it's very good to to be you know i'd like to be like to to do dialogue with you, you know, like uh, speak back, write back, talk back. I really appreciate it. It's important for everybody. We're learning from each other. 
So in each sutra, like today, I'm gonna read my phrases from the book. It's a spiritual satsang, so and uh, I will uh, a little explain it and uh, kind of uh, I'll, uh, I'm gonna do comments on them. So uh, like I usually uh, telling you, it's like <clears throat> each phrase has many angles and meanings. So uh might be similar from before, but it's a little bit different angle and uh, somebody understands from this angle, somebody from another. That's why sometimes I repeat things. <coughs> yeah, I'm trying not to, but uh, yeah, it's how it goes. I like to be natural. I'm not even preparing too much before. It just goes spontaneously. Uh, yeah, <coughs> um, I have website. Actually, you can download or read my book from there, or absolutely free, or, or Google it. The Essence and Altar of Love, and or Pavel Kaligan, and you, it's easy. It's everywhere. In many places, it's, you're gonna find it right away. Uh, so. Uh, I'm not looking at the camera all the time because my eyes getting tired and also I can stop sometimes because English is my second language so uh, it's not easy to find the right words sometimes to pick up the right words uh, for something spiritual, something difficult to explain. It's not even, it's not easy for people who even know English well. So uh, <coughs> yeah, let's begin. Uh, it's video is not long ones because it's philosophic video. Yeah. So. Yeah. <coughs> from self-hypnosis to self-awakening I'm sorry I'm reading from by this stuff eyes I have problem with retina yeah from self-hypnosis that's the phrase into awakening so the main thing of course here awakening uh, pretty much you know what is it like enlightenment uh, yeah when you go out of samsara, the circle of life and death. So, uh, but uh, we never spoke about hip, hip, like self hypnosis from this day of point of view. It's kind of about Maya. We usually saying like it's uh, the God creation. He put us in Maya. We don't see things objectively. We limited by our like mind or five senses, it's also true. <clears throat> but it's another angle we already spoke about it. But the main thing it's uh uh it's kind of self hypnosis because uh, our jiva, like the ego, uh, our like um, mind I would say yourself, um, body, yeah. It's kind of it's it goes G way in yoga like the antakarana, uh, yeah. Like if you're not enlightened, you feel it's uh, who you are. Uh, <coughs> yeah, personality you can say that. Yeah, and. Uh, Another part of us, the main part, actually, it, it's us, it's Atman, it's our true soul, uh, equals God energy and, and uh, consciousness. So it's kind of two souls, you know, and uh, we're hypnotized by both of them. The Atman, our true self, like, really... Uh, just letting us to hypnotize like ourselves just letting just playing you can say that 
nobody knows why it's kind of uh, not logic thing why God created all of these things it's not a question it's not logic answer and just like kid playing yeah but uh, <clears throat> but another part like Jiva our personality not enlightened one It actually hypnotizes, like, uh, we hypnotized by ourselves, basically. Yeah. Because we have, uh, we have, like, true soul, but we don't see it. Because we hypnotized by information we have in our head, in the mind, in our mind. From childhood, from... Uh, from parents, from uh, uh, <coughs> education, and all things we know, all things we hear, all things we smell, we eat, all things we know about the movies. From uh, we have like like a computer, you know, like and uh, this information is kind of blocking. Uh, we need it also, but uh, in the same time. I'm not saying it's bad. Uh, we're blocking our true self. So we need to meditate. It's about meditation also, this sutra. To meditate, to do spiritual satsana, to do something, to reach the Atman, to open our true self. So uh, this particular word, it's uh, very common here. Like uh, self hypnotizes, like that we like in hypnosis, you know, like we don't see things how we are. Yeah. And it's kind of calls my big illusion from God, like who knows about it. So uh, we spoke about this already and I'm gonna speak about it a lot. So that's pretty much enough. So just remember like uh, uh, it's not just from God, like from I would say from creative part of God. It's not only from Him. I would say like we we like that. It's also by karma, like also action and reaction, like information, memory we have. It's also blocking, like uh, some energy challenge, and uh, we don't see who we are. So uh, it's kind of hypnosis, you can say that, self hypnosis. And when we do meditation right way, and when when we reach enlightenment, it's like we're going out of self hypnosis. So I think that's only few points of view. And please write me back, tell me more. I'm learning from you also. So it's kind of, yeah, from self-hypnotize to self-awakening. Yeah, think about it. Yeah, there are no <clears throat> winners in in the time slavery. Yeah, there is no winners in the time slavery. Yeah, that's true. Basically, time is not exist. Just when mind exists, time exists. It's connection between them. Then mind not exists, time not exists. But it's another topic. Uh, the point in here, it's uh, like I'm gonna tell you again. There is, <coughs> there are no uh, winners in time slavery. 
yeah when you in time when you're not enlightened yet again about enlightenment when you in your mind you can say if you feel time this way or that way slower or uh, opposite way like fast or something but not in the present moment you're always like uh, you're in time you catch by time so you're getting older you're getting sick you, you die then born again and then again and again and again in many circles many lifetimes so uh, that's why I wrote it it's kind of it's no winning here you did good life or you did not such a good life of course the enlightenment will be sooner uh, when you do good things when you work on yourself uh, but anyway, even if you're not, you're still living your lives, and in the end, everybody will enlighten it anyway. So that's the God's plan, I would say. Yeah, it's gonna be Satya Yuga again. You can read about Satya Yuga, about karma, about all these things on the internet if you're not actually um, knows about these things it's kind of easy to find today yeah so time it is slavery like with slaves um, of our mind of our addictions of our feelings sometimes you know, we cannot get over it sometimes we we just we have a lot of bad habits let's say it's all about time pretty much if you think deeper so uh, and when we got like when the mind with, with inner dialogue stops and you don't feel time anymore it's not like not exist you're not creating karma then you can say you're waiting but in time no matter what you do like bad things good things it's not like you're supposed to do bad things you can do it you know like I'm not, I'm not about it of course it's <laughs> it's better to do good things you're not gonna suffer it it's not the karma I'm not gonna go back to you but anyway there is no winners in this circle it's just impossible it's if you in time everybody like Ramana Maharshi is saying like the great saint he passed away about 90-50 I guess he said uh, we're all in the train you know somebody keeping the luggage in the hands somebody not keeping you know but everybody somebody sleeping somebody screaming somebody doing drinking somebody meditating but anyway the train goes my point is not like you're supposed to oh anyway when the same train and uh, I can do whatever I want mm, not really you're gonna suffer much more so uh, what's the point if you want to suffer so uh, you can do bad things and it's gonna come back to you yeah so that's about time and mind and uh, enlightenment also think about it there are no winners in the time slavery yeah tell me how you understand this phrase yeah I think uh, I'm gonna do much like I do pretty short video today but it's enough for today to think about it I do two three sutras so uh, more or less but uh, 
it's better to think on one conception, it's pretty deep, than to think about hundreds of them. And, and and hurry and everything, you know, you'll be like, it's going to be a lot of in your head, you know, um, it's no meditation then. So I wish you health, try to find the spiritual way for yourself, for everybody is different, no matter which one, if it's honestly, and if you have real good teacher, good mentors, if you really want to get enlightened and if you really want to be spiritual, so uh, try, work on yourself, read certain books. And I wish you luck. See you next time. Namaste. God bless you.